Good morning. It's time for Daily Chapel at the LCMS International Center in St. Louis. The text is Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 21. The Reverend Mark Kiesling is preaching. The broadcast of chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. Our reading for today is from Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 21. When the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place. And suddenly there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. And divided tongues as a fire appeared on them and rested on each one of them. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. And at this sound, the multitude came together, and they were bewildered, because each one was hearing them speak in his own language. And they were amazed and astonished, saying, Are not all these men who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in his own native language? Parthians and Medes and Elamites and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome. Both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabians, we hear them telling in our own tongues the mighty works of God. And all were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, What does this mean? But others, mocking, said, They are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, lifted up his voice and addressed them. Men of Judea and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and give ear to my words. For these men are not drunk as you suppose, since it is only the third day, third hour of the day. But this is what was uttered through the prophet Joel. And in the last days it shall be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even on my male servants and female servants in those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood, before the day of the Lord comes, the great and magnificent day. And it shall come to pass that everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. I have been blessed to be in a group of members at my congregation who have joined for Bible study over the last two years or so. We were meeting prior to COVID hitting, and we've continued to meet for prayer and study of God's word over Zoom this past year. As a group, we've decided on scriptures we wanted to study to bring clarity or to learn more about the church and her teaching. And this year, as we were coming into Lent, there was the desire to study the book of Acts. We read and studied it from beginning to end the whole season. What an incredible, true life story and adventure the Acts of the Apostles or the Acts of the Holy Spirit takes the reader on. The origins of the church, the work of the Holy Spirit, the gospel proclamation, the transformation of lives through baptism, and the proclamation of the word following Jesus' commands to make disciples of all nations. One thing that struck me as we came to Acts chapter 2 as we were reading through was one blessing that I had seen in the pandemic. This was that God was using his gift of technology to bring together people to hear his word and be refreshed by the gospel and in Christian community. Whether it was our small group in St. Louis or my congregation who would join both in person and virtually, 
we were gathered to hear God's word. And whether it was watching the Facebook stream here of our chapel services and seeing people from across the United States and across the world joining in and hearing God's word proclaimed and singing along in the hymns and commenting their praises to God, perhaps in their own homes or location. What a blessing that was to see. It was also the case in my home congregation, as on some weeks on our virtual service, we too could see brothers and sisters in Christ joining us from across the globe, joining to hear God's word and the forgiveness of sins proclaimed. These saints who joined in had relationships with members of our congregation, and technology allowed for deeper connection and access to God's word. They joined in our worship services, sang the hymns, heard the word proclaimed, and celebrated what God is doing and has done for us in Jesus. This experience and the reading of Acts 2 gives my heart much joy. And at this sound, the multitude came together, and they were bewildered because each one was hearing them speak in his own language. Parthians and Medes and Elamites and the residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene and the visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes and Cretans and Arabians. Now, I have not heard, maybe Peter, you can tell me differently, that the Holy Spirit is translating our chapel messages into other languages, but yet nonetheless we have seen certainly how the word of God has gone out and heard by people across the globe. And this past Sunday, Pentecost 2021, was a great reminder of the vastness of Christ's love and the fulfilling of Jesus' commission to make disciples of all nations, baptizing and teaching. Over the trials of a worldwide pandemic that has touched every corner of the globe, Christians across the world this weekend celebrated and proclaimed that we are one in Jesus. Our reading focuses on the gift of the Holy Spirit and the message of the love of God found in Jesus for all people of the world. This gift of the Spirit of Christ was foretold by the prophet Joel and begins to be filled on that Pentecost in the city of Jerusalem. For this gospel proclamation is for all human flesh because God has come to his people, the people he made for himself in creation. The promises and gift of the Holy Spirit breaks down ethnic, cultural, and linguistic barriers. God's universal call to repentance and the forgiveness of sins are for all people. We are reminded that the mighty works are God's, not ours. Our reading for today stops short before Peter's specific proclamation of Jesus of Nazareth being one through whom God culminated his mighty works and wonders and signs. And that this Jesus was crucified for our sins but raised by God, loosening the pangs of death because it was not possible for him to be held by it. You get to hear that next Sunday. But we know the story. Peter's Pentecost sermon announces the fulfillment of God's promise for us. The Spirit is active in Peter's words, convicting the hearers concerning sin, righteousness, and judgment. The only one who is righteous, Jesus, came to earth for us to commit no sin, but to take on our sin and God's wrath against sin. In this way, in our baptism, we are clothed in his righteousness. We who believe in Jesus, the Spirit has called and gathered. He enlightens and sanctifies us, and he keeps us. And in our times of doubt, the Spirit reminds us that no one is out of range of the Holy Spirit. All people, sinners in the need of grace, are in his crosshairs. By the Spirit's encouragement, we never tire of hearing that message and never tire when others may not seem to listen to God's call to repentance and his invitation of grace. But nonetheless, we keep praying. We keep going about his work, knowing the harvest is the Lord's. And together, we sing praise for that day of grace that marks our life in Jesus. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you for joining us for chapel. Today we pray for the congregations of the Oklahoma District and their pastors, together with all schools, teachers, and church workers. We also pray for missionary Catherine Phillips, who serves the Lord in the Dominican Republic. The broadcast of chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. To learn more about LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces, visit kfuo.org chapel.